welcome to the Prime 5, your five biggest Nintendo news stories in the last 24 hours. We got news on a brand new update to your Nintendo Switch. That's right, they updated the operating system. We also have news on, well, you know, Octopus Traveler 2, among many other games, actually, for Nintendo Switch. And, uh, I don't know, if, uh, got some hair on my sweatshirt. Yeah, I'm just feeling a little shaggy today. Our first story today deals with brand new Splatoon 3 Amiibo, which are coming out, and Nintendo decided to show them off, and they include two new Inklings and a new one for Small Fry. They do release on November 11th, and they unlock special in-game gear. Now, at least at the time of recording, I was not able to find any pre-orders yet. However, if there are some, we will probably update you through a community post and or on Twitter. That being said, let's get into our next story. Now right now we gotta talk about the Nintendo Switch itself because it got a brand new operating system update, a major system update to 15.0.0. And according to their official website on their patch notes, the, it says the location of the Bluetooth audio menu within system settings has moved. Screenshots can be taken using the capture button while in the Nintendo Switch online application found on the Nintendo Switch home menu. So that's the Nintendo Switch online icon down at the bottom. So this is not within the N64 NES SNES apps. This is just in that menu, that separate navigator down at the bottom. Video capture is not supported, however, and general system stability improvements to enhance the user's experience. Now, Right now, data miners, at least at the time of recording, haven't uncovered any other hidden features that might be getting worked on in here like they have in prior updates. Still, this does look like it might be an update maybe setting stuff up. What it's setting up, I have no idea. Now, this is a fun topic we get to talk about because it's about the Mario movie and about the world's reaction to it because I'm sure you've seen a wide range of reactions from various YouTubers, some of them positive, some of them negative, but how's the actual world responding? Well, thanks to Video Game Chronicle, we now know. They compiled five YouTube channels and examined all of the data, including Illumination, Nintendo of America, Universal Pictures UK, Universal Pictures Australia, and Movie Trailer Source. These are the primary YouTube channels that have Mario trailer on them, so like the most viewed Mario trailers out there. Combined, it racked up to 23 million views between those channels. A rough estimate on likes and dislikes are about 775,447 likes versus 37,075 dislikes. That's an over 95% positive rating on the trailer. For comparison's sake, and it's just a comparison, doesn't mean a whole lot, by the time the Sonic trailer for the first movie hit 12 million views, it ended up with just 39% of the audience giving it a like versus a dislike. This was obviously due to Sonic's design. Their next trailer with the fixed design had a 97% like to dislike ratio. And again, just to remind you, the data was fully compiled by Video Game Chronicle. Again, I'm still really excited for this movie, and it appears that most of you guys are as well, even if you might not admit it. A lot of people like it. Our own poll that we did show that most people liked it, so hey, kudos to Nintendo. In the grand scheme, you released a teaser trailer that a majority of the world is pretty excited about. So... Let's just wait until we see more of this movie, hopefully before the end of this year. So a new trailer dropped in Japan, well, in particular, the Octopath Traveler Japanese account for Octopath Traveler 2. And this trailer just has some new details about the game, or at least some new features dealing with what they're calling HD 2D 2.0. Oh, so the rough translation and Google Translate stuff, so this isn't going to be perfect. Characters' bodies have risen. I literally don't know what that means. Risen from the dead? <laughs> uh, that's the only guess I got. New types of camera work have been added. There's more detailed and beautiful graphics. So that is something they're claiming is an update to the HD 2D style. And yeah, you'll be able to pre-order the game through our affiliate link down in the description or obviously any of your other retailers you prefer to go to. Uh, look, I'm really looking forward to Octopath Traveler 2. It comes out next year. It's coming, you know, cross-platform. So that's really cool. I just, I, I'm sitting here and I'm going, man, what's up with these Japanese trailers and not dropping the English ones when it's just an ad for the game? I don't know. By now, the English one might already be out. But again, this is at the time of recording. So 
We're going off of these weird Google Translate things because that's just what we got to do. Come on, we all know Google's AI never lets us down, right? And our last story is just about the updated Nintendo Switch Online icons. We already knew this update was coming. The new batch of icons is out. It's Breath of the Wild themed, a lot around Mifa and the Zora stuff. Go check them out. I think it looks really cool. Probably going to get my hands on some of these myself from the My Nintendo store. So, cool. Anyways, guys, I am Nathaniel Rufflejantz from Nintendo Prime. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of the... To today's episode of Prime 5. Oh, man, we got a lot of work to do, folks. I am so excited for what is coming up on this channel, and I can't even tell you. That's the sad thing. I can't say anything yet. But soon, I'll see you guys in the next episode.